Hello and welcome to Demon Clipper Essentials, how to install. Right, uh, first of all, you'll need to navigate to this page, the uh, Demon Clipper Essentials Unified GitHub page, and hopefully you've got the link already. Um, um, here are all the files. You don't really need to mess or tinker with those at the moment. So what we'll do is we'll scroll down and past all the bump, um, and you want to start here. So general install and set up for all printers. So click this. And that takes us to this page, which is the general install and setup for all printers page. Here you'll see warnings, you know, don't just install them, set them up, all that kind of stuff. Um, information, if you need, click to expand, you know, all kinds of stuff like this about the file structure and how things are laid out. Any troubleshooting uh, stuff that you might need uh, for different looping boot things or, you know, manually reinstalling a file you might need uh, this for a later date updating from a previous version there's a, a, a script that will help you uh, transpose all of your old settings to the new file and here we have the daemon diagnostics which is a inbuilt tool simple little thing but it's very it's quite strict uh, it will help you um, diagnose the state of your uh, install the current state so it will show you sort of red things and the ideal thing is you want them all green or as many as green as you can get so that's that um, and then the, the discord of course come and join the fun <laughs> the, the discord uh, any questions or problems you have you can come and ask there uh, one of the most important steps, preparing your current system. Make a backup of all of your files, like right now. You know, before you do anything else, make a backup, save them, make sure they're safe, uh, untouched state, so you can restore them if you should choose to or if you should need to. Um, so, yeah, then we move on to the main installer, which is here. So, this is the command. You can just copy by clicking the double boxes here you don't have to select and you know control C and all that rubbish you can just click that and that's copied and then you can paste that into your SSH terminal where it will complete the install for you uh, and after that is completed you choose which prerequisite installer that you require if you have uh, an original SV08, a Sovo SV08 printer, you can use this one. If you have basically any other printer, you use this one. Okay. If we scroll down, it's saying we should now have installed files. We can check on which indeed we do. We have Camp Light, Demon User Files, Demon Clipper Essentials Unified, and the Heat Soak. CFG file so we can continue on and we need to start here with defined say variable section so this is the important one this needs to be in place before we do any includes otherwise it will not work correctly and here we have it there oh and it's right next to the idle timeout so we can comment out both of those and copy that and paste it in here and we do idle timeout as well keep it similar to what it was there we go um, an idle timeout in the printer CFG there are actually two idle timeouts in this macro set one is in the printer CFG which is what we'll be dealing with here the other one which we will be dealing with in the next section uh, setting up your main sales CFG file and uh, we might as well put force move in there too just like that and we go up and press save and we can close right now what we need to do is something a little bit different we need to do our main sale CFG setup so we need to go to this link here to do that so we need to make a new file and call it that so we can copy here create a new file paste the name in into my macros there which is empty at the moment which is fine is exactly what we want but we go back out of that 
and we go down to main cell CFG and you can see our client variable macro here and it's all commented out. So what we need to do is copy it from line 48, the G code line, all the way up to line 22. So we copy that and close back into my macros and simply paste. Then select all, uncomment and we'll do that in the print CFG in a minute uh, and then we can run through and do set all these values as we need them start setting this section up what we need to do first of all we'll just uh, deselect this and then we'll start reading over here and we need to set this one as true so this basically means uh, we want the tool head to um, park uh, in you know when you cancel the print so we will set this true there we go that's fine uh, and this is the other idle timeout that I was speaking about this is the short idle timeout so this is 600 seconds uh, we want that in here uh, and this is the time that the printer will wait uh, until it turns off the hot end or uh, you know during during a print so this is uh, this is a short small number compared to the main one so that's that and this is the filament sensor one this will check to see if the filament sensor is still loaded before it resumes so you need to tell it the name of the sensor you want it to check uh, also we need to add these in to here the pause and resume and the cancel so there we go and this will mean that the uh, the printer will uh, do the the specified actions that we need it to when you do whatever these are you know pause resume and cancel um, also it's quite good to set this to true here uh, and this means you can specify um, custom parking locations, speeds, and all that kind of thing there. So that's all good. Uh, hopefully I've set that right, so we'll save that and close. And of course what we need to do is go back into the printer CFG and copy this include command and just pop that in there like that. So that's good and we can save that there. Okay, now we've done that, we can go to the include now section, which is we need the main directory includes. So we can just copy that. And since we're here already, we can just paste that in there like so. And that's that done. We will also need to uh, do commands per in for these also. So I'll do that now. Main includes are done as well as our prerequisite includes. So that means we can move on and we need to do the uh, daemon user files updater uh, the includes for that so we are using a Sovel machine so we can use this box here for Sovel based printers and just paste that in there like that and we can then save and restart and see if it works hopefully we don't get any red errors we'll see but if we do it's kind of expected at this point Ah, yep, there we go. And we have a homing override and safe home conflict. They both can't be used simultaneously. So we want this one. We want homing override. We don't want this one. We don't want safe home. So what we need to do is we need to find safe home. And that should probably be in our printer CFG. And uh, ah, there it is at the top. So we don't need that. Comment that out. Save and restart. Here we go, initializing. Ah, there we go. We have the welcome pop-up. Congrats, your demo macros are online. So that's fantastic. Just tells you a little bit what you need to know. So let's get started. So that there is the first milestone completed. And so we need to carry on with this here so print a CFG we need to max extrude only velocity of say 22 and that will be in our extruder section which will be below the steppers here so we can just 
Um, oh, look, we already have one, which is great. It's a little low, though, so we can change that value. We'll put that into 22. That's great. We just save there. And printer lights. We do have LEDs on this. We have white LEDs. So we we'll copy this here, and we will look for our LEDs, which I think I saw down the bottom here. Yes, there we go. We can copy, sorry, paste in below that one once we've commented it out. But we need to take the pin and copy that and replace those here like that. So we've just swapped those over, called it the correct name and changed the, the function a little bit there. So that will be good. We don't have any NeoPixels on this printer. Um, then we have the main sale updates, which you can do very easily, just going through that there. Uh, this is stuff to do in the slicer. Um, and then your Moonraker file, uh, since we're in the printer CFG, we can just copy that and just paste that in here, like so. That's that done, and save and restart. Um, but we can just save for now, because we need to do this also the max extrude cross section and that will be in our extruder again and we already have it so that's fantastic uh, uh, we won't watch these now but you should watch those and make sure you set your variables up correctly for that um, we don't have an end stop switch so we don't need to worry about that uh, we don't have edit in G we don't have BTT eddy um, so we can do our save and restart, make sure that's going to work. We'll go to the dashboard and we can see if this hasty install is going to home or not. Okay, so ah, just a little check in. Hope all's going well. Yeah. Uh, we've got include commands. Yes, that's fine. Thank you very much. Okay, so we're going to try and home, and we should see all of this if it's going to work. Ah, yes. There we go. This should work. But always cover the emergency stop just in case, because you on the first time, you can never be too sure. Is it going to stop? Yes. There we go. Perfect. In standby mode, print is homed, steppers are active. That's brilliant. Okay, there we go. Second milestone complete. Uh, there's also some sections here about the macro layout, uh, importing them so that they'll look like this rather than looking like this because you need to click this link, open the file, and then click the download raw file button here and that will save that to your machine and then you come over here and you press the restore button find the file that you just downloaded and restore it to the printer that way and it will um, update your your um, main cell appearance to look a lot better than that see the file is restored and you have uh, little descriptions and things and some of them uh, and you can also rearrange them and close them and things like that as well. Uh, and also, side note, um, when, when, when you're printing, uh, the majority of them will disappear because they are not used and should not be used and basically can't be used while the machine is running, while it's printing. So there's no need for them to be displayed and it just helps you not press the wrong button as it were. So the only ones that will be displayed while the print is in progress are the ones that uh, are useful during the print.